In this video, we will take a look at how we can add the side menu and tabs inside the Ionic Blank template. To get started, we can create the new project with the Ionic Blank template. So we can type Ionic Start, then the name of the app. I will use my app dash blank and then the template name which is blank. So now I press enter. So this will create our project and then it will install the dependencies for our project. So this will take some time. So I will be back when it finishes. Now that our project is created, so we can change the directory to our newly created project. And then we can open the project inside the code editor, which in my case is VS code. And I am using the insiders field of VS code. So we can open the project by typing code insiders then dot. So this will open our project inside of VS code. So we can first start by opening the new terminal window and then we can run the project by typing ionic serve. Now this will build our project for the first time and then it will open it inside the browser. So this is how the Ionic project with the blank template looks like. So if we open the developer console and then click on this toggle device toolbar window and maybe let's select uh, pixel 2 XL maybe. So this is how it will look inside of pixel 2. So nothing fancy here. So let's see how we can first add tabs inside of the blank template. So let's open the new terminal window. So we will click this plus icon here and we have to create some pages. So we will create one page for the tabs. I think generate page tabs. So this will be the page responsible for showing the tabs. And after that, we will add some more pages. One for tab one. then tab 2 and the last one for tab 3 so now we can close our terminal window and then we can go to app routing module.ts and in here we can see for our root path we are redirecting to the home page and in return home page opens this home page module and then what we can do is we don't need that home we actually want to open tabs so we will actually uh, comment this code all right and then instead of tabs we want to keep it empty because we want to open the tabs in our root page and we don't need that tab 1, 2 and 3 routes inside of app routing module. We will be adding it inside of the tabs module. So we can comment this out also. So now we can save it actually. And then we can go to our tabs module.ts. And in here we can add the new paths. So first we can start with the tabs. So this will be the main page slash tabs route and then we can add the children here and in here we can add path so this should be children i forgot the l and for the path we will say tab one and then here we can say children And here we can specify path equal to empty. So this path will correspond to tab slash tab one. And in here we can add load children because we want to lazily load tab one module. So here we can specify the path to our tab one module. So we can actually expand this. And currently we are inside our tabs module. So we have to go one step up. So we can type dot dot then slash and here we can specify our tab one and then we will go to tab one dot module and then after the hash we have to add the tab one module class name so we will copy that and then we can paste it here all right 
and similarly we can specify the paths for tab 2 and tab 3 so we can actually copy this code and in here instead of 2 in all these places we have to specify 2 instead of 1 and here 3 instead of 1 so we have specified paths for our tab 1 2 and 3 and for the last step we have to add for our root path we want to redirect to tabs slash tab 1 and we want to match the exact path so we will say path match equal to full all right so this is what we have to add to our tabs module.ts file and now we can go to our tabs page.html and here we don't need that header toolbar and the content we actually have to specify i tabs so this is a snippets by ionic for snippets plugin so we can use that so this will actually add all this boilerplate we require to add these tabs so here we have specified iron tab bar slot equal to bottom so the tabs will show at the bottom of the screen and here we are specifying iron tab button and in here tab equal to tab 1 so this corresponds to that path here so similarly on all these different iron tab buttons we have tab 2 and tab 3 which specifies this tab 2 and tab 3 and after that we have this iron icon we have specified the name for the icon and then we have that label that will show for each tab so this is tab 1 tab 2 and tab 3 all right so now we can save that and now if we take a look at inside of the browser we can see currently we are on tab 1 and in here at the top we can see tab 1 and if we go to tab 2 so we are seeing tab 2 at the top of the screen and then tab 3 so currently the content is empty so let's add some content here so inside of our editor we can go to tab 1 page.html so here we can add this is tab 1 content okay so we can actually copy that maybe let's add tab 2 content and then we have that tab 3 content okay so here you can see we are on the tab 3 so we are getting this i this is i tab 3 content so if you go to tab 2 we are getting that tab 2 content and then tab 1 content so this is how we can add the tabs inside of the blank template so now let's see how we can add a side menu also so for the side menu let's first close all these tabs and maybe let's minimize or collapse all the open directories and now we can go to source app and then we can go to app component.html and in here instead of iron router outlet we can actually comment this out we can use iron split pane snippet by ionic for snippets plugin so we can actually press that so as we have only one menu so we don't need to add menu id for that for the side we will add start here because we want to show it on the left of the screen and then we have this overlay and for the title we can say maybe my app and for the content maybe say menu content goes here okay and similarly we are adding this iron router outlet before iron split pane tag ends so now if we take a look at inside of the browser we can see the split pane is working for the menu so as currently we are on the desktop screen we are seeing that split pane on the left side we can see our menu and on the right side we can see our content so our tabs are still working the way it should so we can open the developer console here and now if we slide from left to right we can see our menu overlay shows up right so this is where we can add our menu content but if we are on the large screen so our menu appears 
side by side on the left okay but now if you see we have to slide from left to right for the menu to appear we can actually add that hamburger menu icon at the top left or top right or anywhere in our application so let's see how we can add the hamburger menu so that when we click on that hamburger menu icon so this will open the menu for us so we have to add the icon in each and every file of our application so let's start with tab 1 so if we go here and before the iron title component we can add iron menu button snippet so this is also provided by ionic 4 snippets plugin so we want to show the button at the start and then we have that iron menu button component so we don't need to pass a menu id here because we currently only have one menu so this will just work so we can save that and now on the top left we can see we have that hamburger menu icon so if we click on that so this will open the menu for us but if you open tab 2 and tab 3 we don't currently have that icon here so let's add it there also so we can copy the exact code here and then we can open tab 2 page.html so we can paste it here and similarly tab 3 page.html okay and now we can see the hamburger menu icon appears on tab 2 tab 3 and tab 1 all right so if we close that that icon won't appear and then the menu appears on the left side of the screen and now actually let's try to add some menu icons or menu list on the left side of our menu so we will first go to app routing module.ts and let's uncomment this home page route so we will keep it to the bottom so i will save it so we have that home route also and now let's close it so inside of our app component we can add a list so we can type i list so the snippet is provided by ionic 4 snippets plugin so we can press enter here and then here we can add uh, maybe tabs and then here we can add home and then for each item we can add the router link so we will add iron router link and for the path we will say tabs here we can actually remove this and now maybe let's copy that and maybe paste it here for the second route for the home we will use slash home okay so now we can save it so currently we are on the tabs route so if we click on home we can see our home page shows up so if we click on tabs you can see our same tab 1 tab 2 and tab 3 interface shows up so this is how we can add the side menu and the tabs inside of ionic 4 blank template